Hello, my lovely little morning doves. Welcome back to my kitchen and uh, my channel. We're gonna do some stuff today. Last night, I tried making candles for the first time and it was really fun. Like I made it, this is just a little lavender scented candle and I made some kind of not that great little Halloween shapes wax melts using this really old jello mold that has Halloween shapes and like it didn't work great but like it worked and it was fun and then I thought to myself every year around Halloween when I'm looking at all the stores and all the really cool Halloween shit that they have out aka the clothes and decor that I want all year round I always see these taper candles and they can either be white or black they're like a taper candle and when you light it and the wax melts, it looks like it's bleeding because there's red in the center. And I've always kind of wanted them, but I've also always been like, I don't want to pay that much for an unscented candle. But today I thought, why don't I try to fucking make one? Cause I don't know, it sounds like a good time. And I have some leftover shit from when I made candles with my friend last night. So, I've got most everything set up already because this is probably gonna take a long time. I did make myself like a taper uh, mold so that I'm not literally like doing the dunking a taper because that would take my entire life. Um, so yeah, what I did there was I took a taper that I already had and I wrapped it in tin foil, easy peasy. And then you take the taper out, you have a mold. Obviously it doesn't look like that, but you get the drift. And I put a piece of string in it, and I taped all of the seams down the side in the hopes that I won't get wax everywhere. And I also like crunched up the bottom um, and like have the string coming out. You'll see, it's like a whole setup. But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna try and do today. I don't know how long this is gonna take, or even if it's gonna work. But I had some leftover candle stuff, and I really, really enjoyed making candles from scratch. If you haven't made candles yourself, you should try it. It's really fun and remarkably easy. Okay, so, as you can see, this is my setup. I have a candle stand already. This is the tube that I made. I taped it to that so that when I pour, it doesn't just go flying off. And I'm going to use a funnel, because ain't no way am I pouring into that tiny hole from that big ass bowl. Rhymes. So all I need now is some red wax. Hard part done. Double boiler time. I'm just gonna dump in probably a little over half of the wax I have left. I don't know measurements and I'm just kind of making this up as I go. Obviously, I didn't look up how to make tapers. I just made it up and hopefully it'll work, so. Wax dye. I want my center core to be very, very red. So we're gonna let this melt down and see how the color goes. If I need, or if I feel like I want it to be even more just ridiculously red, I'll throw in a little bit more. Um, but yeah, all we have to do is wait for this to melt down. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm currently experiencing a little bit of leakage. So what I did was I'm throwing it into the fridge with the wax that it has in it now that's not leaking. I'm gonna let that set up for like 10 minutes and get solid. Then I'm gonna pour some more wax on it in the hopes that I will be able to fill the mold all the way up. We'll see. Okay, so I put it in the fridge. I've got this little toothpick words holding the wick words so that it stays fairly centered as you can see this was a hot mess but once it filled up to here on my candle holder and that solidified I could then fill it the rest of the way up 
So it is just about all the way to the top. I left enough room for the wick. I'm gonna go back in the fridge for another like 10-15 minutes and then I can put the white on the outside after I've like opened this up and everything. So right now, while this is in the fridge, I'm gonna clean out the pot to get any colored wax out of it because I want my next batch of wax to be pure, beautiful white and that it'll cover up all of this red so that hopefully it will bleed. All right, so like I have a candle, fuck, my, it's, wow, that was gross. This is really slimy <laughs> for some reason. Um, so I'm gonna put this back in the fridge and so that when we put white wax on it, it'll be really cold. I'm gonna clean up the mess and then I'm gonna get started on the white wax. So just give me another 10 minutes. Now it's time to melt the last batch of white wax, get those layers on here, and finally see if this thing would work. Okay, so <laughs> hanging it from the microwave and slowly like ladling hot wax onto it was all well and good except for the wax was too hot so it was melting the wax underneath. So anyways what I'm saying is I want to be done with this so I'm trying something else here. So I laid down just a sheet of wax, alright? So come here, come look. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. Sheet of wax, candle. See how at the bottom it was, it was going semi okay but at the top it was just not so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put this on here and i'm gonna roll it up and i'm gonna see what happens so i'm just we're improvising oh no nothing good that's what happens please please i just <laughs> i just like Oh, this is it. This is it. I figured it out. Okay. Oh gosh. So I'm just gonna let it sit like that for a second with all of the white on top, and then I'm gonna put a couple more layers of warm but more cooled off wax on that in the hopes of smoothing it out a little bit and getting rid of the fact that you can definitely see through the white to the pink, but like I'm over it and it's not working as well as I thought it would. It's not easy like I thought it would be. Oh my god, it's 7.30. <laughs> I started in the afternoon and now it's nighttime. Fuck me. Okay. <laughs> it's not the worst thing, but also it's gross looking. <laughs> so... I'm gonna just put it in my handy dandy candle holder. Oh no. <laughs> the wax is still really soft. And we're gonna, I'm gonna light it and we'll do like a time lapse and see if it looks like fucking the, the red drips and it's a, a bleeding candle. These matches suck ass. <laughs> what the fuck? Wanna see something cool? Wanna see something cool? Oh, oh it's the what? 
That's better. Okay, so like, that wasn't the best experiment ever, but also it kind of worked. So I'm not super mad. I mean like, did I spend way too much time on this and could I definitely have just done this a lot easier by, I don't know, buying one? Yes. But I now know, I know that now and I've had the experience and that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's, it's about new life experiences. Yes, I'm in pajamas now. Don't at me. I don't know, next video maybe I'll set a, a snake wet specimen because that I have that ready to go and I know how to do that so we've had two I'm bad at things videos so maybe we can do a, a video of, of something I'm more comfortable with. Bye!